today we have a surprise for more farmer. Now our hired hands are gonna be getting a little something, a little gift. I'm gonna give it to Farmer Nick and more, and they're basically gonna share this kind of gift. Or maybe we'll see. We'll see how it all goes down. But more, keep your eyes closed. Follow me in the shed here. There you go. Or I mean you can keep your eyes open. You can keep your eyes open for now. It's not it's not on the it's not in here. It's not in here, I guess. You can keep coming in here. We're going to jump in Ranger Danger together, and I'm going to take you on down somewhere. Guys, this is... <laughs> this will be interesting. You keep coming in here. You're good, more. Okay, dude. Okay, he's walking I'm like... He's... Oh, okay. I was I'm like... Lagging, it might be easier just for me to jump in. Okay, here. Let me pull you... Yeah, let me pull you over here. <laughs> he's walking like he's blind right now. But we're going to get in the Ranger. I'm going to crank up the volume a little on the Ranger, and then... uh we're going to get going down here, and I'm going to show you guys what we got more fama. Okay, we'll pull over here. There we go. Jump in more. Um, If you can. Right here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, he's in. He's in. There we go. That's all we have to do pretty much. Okay, so we're going to head down here a little bit. going to head... I, I bought something. I bought... I guess I bought two things for you. First... The first you'll, you'll notice right away once we head down here. But tell me once you think it is. Okay, more. more. Guess what it is right now. Uh, is it a new tractor? Nope. Two more guesses. Go ahead. Guess before we get there. Uh, er, okay. Okay, new more. Players? Nope. Okay, one more guess. One more guess more. Where is a new truck? Okay, you're kind of close. You're kind of close on the new truck. New, yeah. You're, you're close. You're close. Okay, so there's two new things. Um, We'll keep coming over here, and I'll show you. Oh man, dude, too bad you could have put bandanas on people and like blind them out. Like Call of Duty, throw flash grenades on them or something, you know, flash their eyes out before we get there. I don't know, pepper spray or something. But maybe not pepper spray when you're trying to just hide somebody's eyes. That's probably not a good idea, but okay. More, welcome to your new house and farm. Is he lagging? Nice. Yep, that's yours, More. This is yours, More. This house is yours to... to and I don't think you'll share it with Nick. I think I'm going to buy... Okay, don't tell him, but I think I'm going to buy Nick the other farm over there. So this is your whole farm, more. This is your farm right here. You have the house. Come walk around. Okay, you're, you're not lagging. Perfect. Um, And then we have the barn over here, too. That's going to be yours. Now, I don't... You'll just kind of live here. I don't know if we'll really use it too much, but for now, this is your place. And then... Yeah, so this is your barn. I don't know. Can we go in the barn? Uh, okay, I don't think we can, but it's kind of an older farm. It's an older acreage. The gentleman here passed away, and so I bought it up, and uh, and this is Moore's place to live now. But more, come down here. I got one more thing for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Okay, come in here, Moore. Welcome to your new vehicle, Moore. What do you think? <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Moore, that's, uh, that's going to be your new vehicle for the farm, man. I put a hitch on her. I added a hitch on her, so she'll be doing some pulling a little bit. But uh, yeah. That's your new, that's your new, uh, Han, or, uh, Chrysler Pacifica, I think. Hold on, I gotta go check this out. Chrysler Pacifica is what we got more. <laughs> oh, man, dude, he's gonna just be drifting around corners and stuff with that thing. Oh, dude. Okay, since I added a hitch on it, I think it's a, I think it's a, uh, Chrysler Pacifica, I think is what it is. I'm pretty sure. But since I added a MSRP, what's MSRP on this, baby? Um, I'll tell you what I paid for it. Can I see it on there? Ah. Is it right there? Oh, 40K. 40K. I paid 30K for her. But anyways, since I added her hitch, I can write it off. I can do a tax write-off on it, and we can say it's for farm use. Because Moore's going to be pulling some gravity wagons. He's going to be pulling a grain cart with her maybe a little bit. So it'll be <laughs> it'll be good. Okay, Moore, grain take your first... So excessive. Yeah, your gravity wagons are good, though. I think gravity wagons are good. Take your first spin, Moore. Take your first spin. <laughs> your head's sticking through the roof right now, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not it. Does it work? Does it? Okay, there you go. Get her going. Get her going, dude. Oh man, you just ran to your new shed and your new—you wrecked your new car. There you go. <laughs> it's got his minivan, nice. So that's more. More if you, if you wanna. Uh, Find a nice girl and start a family. You got the minivan. You got the minivan right there. So you're all set up, man. That's all you need. I'm sure, dude, chicks dig the minivan. They'll love it. They'll love it more. Oh, it'll be simple for you. So Moore's going to Moore's gonna rip the minivan a little bit. And uh, 
He's gonna. I'm. Guys, I'm seriously gonna make him keep it. We're gonna make him keep the minivan stuff. But uh, there we go. Sometimes I've seen some like photos as jokes and stuff where people are like pulling gravity wagons with their minivans and like RV and stuff. Just because, technically, you can use it. I don't know if you can actually use this, but you can justify. You could say to the IRS um, uh, that it's it's technically a farm use vehicle and you can write it off as a business as a farm business expense. I guess you could say. So. More farmers got his minivan. More, what do you think? You like it? Nice. <laughs> Dude, we got leather seats in there, man. We got leather seats. You can sleep in there if you want while you're on the job. If you're in the cow mine, you can run out to your van, just sleep in the back quick, and then get, get going again. It's nice. It'll be perfect. Oh, gosh. There we go. Okay, it, well, we won't do it in today's video, but the next video, I'm going to get some type of trailer for that thing, and we're going to test her out. We're going to see what the Chrysler can do for pulling but uh i know iowa dairy boys had a van and i think they i don't know if they ran out of oil on purpose or something but they i remember them flying across the field with their their van stuff i've talked to them a couple times which it was pretty cool having a van they had like a light bar on it and stuff okay more come park your van up uh up by the shop quick and let's get to work boy let's get to work <laughs> you crash it oh no he's he's down there he's lagging a little bit let's see those lights let those puppies shine man <laughs> oh yeah, we got some LEDs on her. Nice. Can I jump in? Oh no, I can't. Oh dude, it has a strap. It has a strap on the back. Oh, dude, we could put something in there. <laughs> we could haul something with it. You know what? I need to make a video where we go camping with a minivan someday. Okay, park her up at the shop, and uh, and yeah, you'll be good. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And if, in case, okay, here's a little uh, business lesson, I guess. So a tax write-off. A lot of farmers use the terms tax write-off. I never understood it until I was young. But basically, a tax write-off comes in if, say, the farm makes, um, say, the farm makes a uh, hundred thousand dollars in revenue, right? And then the things you can write off are your cost usually. So technically, a farm could justify like a truck, like a pickup truck. That's a cost to the farm usually because it's for farm use and stuff. Tractors and stuff are cost to farm. So um, basically a minivan, some people could justify it as being a cost to the farm since it has a hitch and they're going to use it for farm use and they won't have to pay tax. It'll They won't have to pay tax on uh, on their revenue. So say they make $100,000 revenue and they have a cost of $30,000 $30, minivan they're left with $70,000 profit. They only have to pay tax on that $70,000 profit. So that's why you'll see some farmers doing some maybe weird stuff. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, it could be, uh, could go both ways, I guess, type of stuff, tax stuff. So that's why you kind of see them doing it stuff. But anyways, what we're going to do is also, that's why you see sometimes farmers will buy a new uh, truck just right, right at the end of the year quick because they know they... They don't want to get hit with any tax and stuff. So maybe they'll just spend all the rest of their money um, type of thing. So anyways, more maybe that wasn't the best explanation. But anyways, okay. what? I can explain this a little bit better. Farmers buy new trucks. They do not buy minivans. Minivans you can't ride all. <laughs> but, but, ride all. but say the minivan, it, say the minivan had a hitch and it had a gooseneck hitch and the farmer was going to say, this is minivan's going to be used for work to haul pigs in the back. The farmer then could write it off. If they have some type of good reason, they probably could write it off. <laughs> but if they're using it to haul around their family and only that, maybe not. But yeah, you're right. You're right. Most farmers won't buy a minivan to write it off. Yes, you're 100% correct. But yeah, I, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're right on everything. Yep. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> but some farmer could maybe like cut up an old minivan and try to make it a farm use or something like that. But yeah, yeah, you're you're correct. I was just kind of messing around with that. So, more. What are we gonna? Uh, okay. First of all, oh, I don't, I don't know if more. No, Tire Bug showed me this, but more might have figured it out too. We need to. We're already ten minutes of the video. We've just been messing around. Um, right now we need grass. Oh, we don't have any grass though. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run the clock and we're going to go another day into into kind of midwinter here. And we're going to get some snow on the ground, I think. That's what we're going to do now. Oh, got to log in as admin. Oops. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, no, you're more. You're 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 totally right on that. Minivans can't be written off. It usually always has to be a truck, and it has to weigh a certain limit and stuff. You're right. I was just making up a random. Seven thousand pounds. Yeah. I was making up kind of a random uh, bullcrap example in case the farmer, like, you know, <laughs> tried to. Nice try, though. Yeah. Now, usually if you can't feed or blow, put straw in through the main aisleways, the best way to do it is to get a blower. Hmm. I gotcha. Oh, we got snow. Yeah, no, that's what we did. We we bought a blower. That's what I was going to tell you. Called it. Okay, so we're back. It's midwinter. It snowed just a little bit, but it's not. It's honestly kind of cleared off pretty good. It's only in like the grass areas. It's kind of nice actually that we don't have to shovel it or snow blow it or anything like that. So, um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get a uh, straw bale and we're gonna put it in the blower because I want you guys to see this because the, uh, the cows definitely need some straw and then more. I'll have you. Do you want to run some power food? We gotta mix some power food up. So we're gonna need a ton of power food. Do you want to start mixing that up? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, perfect. Oh, dude, we have all of our tractors real organized nicely. Okay, I need... Let's see, what tractor do I want to run on that... Uh, I guess we could run the 4020. Let's start with the 4020. I'll let you run the uh, John Deere 74. And then the 83... You can run the 7400 to load in uh, for the power food. And then run the 8300 on the mixer. That usually works good. And I'll run the 4020 on the blower. I think that should be enough. So... We'll open this up quick. We got, dude, Farmer Nick and uh, I think Tire Bog and Brad were organizing this real nice in here. Pump this baby up and we'll get going. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the vid, let me know. Smash that like button. Um, Yeah, so in, in case you guys want, go back to Sunday's vid, like five vids ago. It's a plow day vid. And all you got to do to enter the giveaway is comment on that video. Comment on that video and be subscribed to the channel because if, you, if your name gets picked, I'll check to see if you're subscribed. If you're not, I won't, uh, I won't... I'll, I'll just redraw or something. So be subscribed and then go comment on that vid and you're entered to win FS19. The winner will be announced like in a day, Saturday, on Saturday. Okay, 42. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, well, there's a little, there's a little warm. Oh, more. You got to do it. Dude, more. You got, okay, more. We got to teach you how to do cold starts. Here, hop out, man. You Okay, you probably know what I'm going to do. Okay, watch this. So, so yeah, okay, you... you more knows it better than me. More has more hours on farm sim, but okay, you got to do it like this. So just give it a tap. Okay, the for, the seventy four hundred is a little tough to do, <laughs> but there we go. You kind of just shut it off real quick. Here, I'll try doing it with the eighty nine. We have all these tractors. I'm gonna pull out the forty twenty quick. We have all these tractors in here. Okay, here, let me shut off the seventy uh, seventy four hundred quick. Okay. Let's see if I can do it with 89. Some tractors, you can do a really good cold start, guys. Like, I, I just keep hitting the return tab, keep shutting it off and turning it on, so it sounds pretty cool. Check this out. There we go. She fired up. So, I just keep... Okay, we can we can keep the 89 off, but I just kind of keep, like, hitting it and then turning it off, turning it back on, and then eventually just let it get further. It's kind of cool how you can do it. Hopefully, more someday. FS19, cold start, baby. That's what we need, right? Yep. <laughs> cold starts would be sweet. Okay, we'll get the 420 going. It probably needs to warm up a little bit, but we'll kind of just slowly give her through here. Now, I need to find the bale shredder. More, do you know where it is by any chance? I don't think I... Uh, we'll see. I haven't been on. Oh, that's so right. I don't know where they put it. So, we got a bale. I think it's in... The, I bet it'll be in this shed over here. We'll see, though. Maybe they left it outside. I just need straw bale, so that's the only way to put... It. Yep. Uh, no. Power food. Okay, so over here is a power food mixer in case you need it more. I gotta find where that bale shredder is. Maybe they left her outside. It's cold out too. It's kind of cool actually that we got snow now. Hmm. Where did they put that? Maybe it's in the shed over here? We gotta find that thing. Too bad your uh, minivan wasn't four wheel drive more. That'd be sweet. <laughs> you could really take her <laughs> off road a little bit. Okay, where's this pale shredder? Okay, the only other shed it could be in. Well, I guess it could be in here. I doubt it, though. Nope. We just got straw bales in there. Okay, the only other shed, it's gotta be... Is it in there? It's 
got to be in here. <laughs> Dude, I really want to take Moore's minivan. Okay, we're going to take Moore's minivan. Uh, well, first, let's test to see if she's in here. What did they do with that thing? Is it, Do I even own one of those? Maybe they sold it right away. Uh, we'll keep going through here. Bail. Where is this thing you got? Okay, I think we sold it. I think we leased it or we sold it or something. So I'm going to buy one quick. Uh, I don't know if we have enough money though. Ah, oh, man. Okay, it's right here. And we don't, we don't own any of them. I could lease it. I hate leasing though. And we're borrowed out a ton right now. I, we need one though. I don't know why we had one and then we... Yeah, okay, I think I'm just going to lease one for now. Or unless there's a smaller one. There might be a smaller... Is there a smaller one? Nah, there's not. Okay, so we'll get this one. We'll lease it for now. I hate leasing, but uh, we got to do it. Dude, we could use Moore's minivan to pull it over here to the 4020. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> the minivan, man. Dude, someday, guys, like next part of the video, I'm going to just do a holiday with the minivan a little bit. She's connected. <laughs> Oh gosh, don't get stuck, minivan. Plow through here, baby. Oh gosh, she's she's creating a path through here. Look at it. Look at her go. There we go. I'm just giving her more. Hopefully you're okay with me doing this to your minivan. She's a workhorse, though. She's a workhorse. She's a Chrysler. Dude, too bad uh, they didn't throw the Cummins engine in her. That'd be sweet. Oh gosh. Kind of going all over the place. Okay. We'll pull her over here quick, and then I'll take Moore's minivan back. We'll detach her. <laughs> See? It's for it's for uh, farm use, man. Oh, gosh. How do I de... Okay, I guess I gotta do that. There we go. Whip the minivan around. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Here we go. <laughs> Get some air with the minivan. Okay, we gotta throw a donut in the field quick, even though there's winter wheat growing on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Look at this thing go. I'm drifter, baby. Oh gosh. Slow her down. <laughs> dude, we're like plowing through here. Here we come. Here we come. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, we almost tipped her. No. Oh my gosh, man. Dude, okay, she's good. She's good. Climb out of the ditch. Okay, Mort. Did nothing wrong to the minivan. She's gonna bottom out through here. There we go. Dude, the minivan's a beast. Okay. More? Do you want everybody to think of a name for your minivan? Black yeah, Rocket? Yeah. Black Rocket or something? No, I don't know. We could do something something with black because it's a black car or something. I don't know. Throw. Okay, more once uh, you get. Unless you got a name, I guess. Well, the viewers will do the top three comments and we'll pick out the top three. Sounds good. Top three comments, guys. Of what the name should be for Moore's minivan. Top three comments, and then, like Moore said, we'll pick out of the top three. Moore will pick out the top three comments. So give them all. We'll go by most like comments. I was thinking like Black Rocket or something, or I don't know. We could. There's multiple things we could think of. Okay. Now 4020 is here. We need a bale though, a straw bale for the 4020. So what I'm gonna do is pull over kind of by the straw, fire up the skid loader. And move this in. So yeah, back to the tax write-off thing. Moore was completely right. Minivans never would get uh, the IRS if they audited you would be like, nope, nope, that's not right. That's not right at all. So there we go. Forty twenties here. Okay, I should probably keep it running a little bit, but we'll load this up. Do I have to? I think I can open door. Yes. Yeah, so that's gonna maybe I could back up to a bail. I don't know if that'd work. But for now, I'll open the door, so that way we can get some bales in there. And I'm, I'll try to put two bales in there. I think it can hold two. We just need the bale spear, though. There we go. And for you guys wondering if there's going to be a Sunday fun day vid, yes, there will be. I'm actually going... I'm recording this on Thursday night, but I'm going to pick up a new camera here on uh, Friday. I'm going to pick up a new camera, basically the same one, besides a little better specs and stuff. Okay, where's my bale spear at? Huh. I wonder... Man, I always hate everybody... Oh wait, oh, there it is. It's right there. It was just right behind there. Perfect. 
It was organized perfectly. That was my fault. There we go. Pull back in here. Pull forward. Connect to the bail spear. Oh, shoot. There we go. Oh, more. If you want, you can take off the duels. I mean, the duels are kind of sweet on there, but I feel like it's kind of unrealistic, you know? No duels. You like duels on there? Oh, in the snow. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, tracks. Just in Okay, we'll pull up here. Hey, it's nice we have tracks on the skid loader too. We can get all these bales through here. We can just fly through the snow. Perfect. Okay, we need to open the other one. Will the other one open? There we go. Okay, I'm going to try to load in two bales here. We'll see if we can do that. Now, right now, guys, I'm only using... Ooh, can we grab two bales with the skiddy? We'll see. Uh, <laughs> this might be a little tough. It might be a little too much. Ah, oh, that bale's kind of in my way. Here we go. Oh, we're tipping. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. Okay, we're good. We got two bales. Perfect. Oh gosh, am I going to be able to fit through the doorway? Now, this is probably a little unrealistic in real life. Come on, keep backing up. Oh, okay, so Farming Simulator 2019. There's some news release. Now, dude, the thing is, they always release news or their German time, which is like complete opposite time than me being central time. They always release news like at 4 or 3 a.m. in the morning, like the worst time possible for me. And they only give you a, like a 30 or hour minute head, head notice or heads up, I guess, on that. Um, so everybody gets all the videos out before me. And by the time everybody gets the videos out, you guys have already seen all the news and stuff. By the time I wake up, everybody's seen all the news. So it's kind of uh, it's kind of tough. I usually get up at like oh, 730 or 7. There we go. Pull around here. And toss the bale in. Okay. I don't know if you're supposed to toss it. We'll see. I think this is meant for the smaller bales. Pretty sure. <laughs> Dude, this is definitely not meant as a ramp. We gotta we gotta kinda move around here. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is only put one bale in because this isn't meant for two bales. It's only meant for one. Because these are modded modded bales, not the real in-game bales. There we go. I got to keep it like that. That's how we had to do it last time. So it'll work. It's just like, that's kind of how I have to do it. I guess I could toss two bales in there. You should be able to get two in there. Yeah, no, well, the, the thing is more, it's... These bales are a lot bigger than the real in-game bales. I mean, I could probably toss enough. You know what? I could. You're right. I could toss it one more in the back here, but they won't like fit all the way down it like they should. It'll work though. So we'll grab the other bale here. Toss her in. It's kind of cool when you see it shredding too. There we go. Lift her up. More. How are you doing on the? Uh, how are you doing on the feeding over there? Um, I okay. This is a lot to be lifting it up high. The bobcat actually needs some weights on the back is what we need. There we go. We fit two in there more, but man, it is usually they're supposed to go down to the bottom, but yeah, right now they're just staying right at the top. Okay. We'll throw the gate open here. Um, there we go. Pull the 4020 in. She's way down. Coming through. There we go. Get out of the way, gals. Um, okay, we'll go around here. No, oh, shoot. What I got to do is I'm going to try to back her in here. Yeah, we got to back her in here because the blower's on on this side. I could pull through and swing around, or I think what I'll do is just back it in. <laughs> there we go. It's tough in the snow, guys. With a 4020, maybe we need to run the 7400 on this front wheel assist. There we go. Keep backing her in right here. I'm going to turn on the game volume just a tad. Oh, shoot. Pull forward. There we go. Okay, we'll back her in here. Um, well, How does this work? Unload, open door. Oh, we can just unload right here. I'm going to pull all the way back here so we spread the straw out pretty good, though. Oh, and we got some manure back there we got to clear out. 
How much manure do we have here? I should be able to see here. Uh, manure, manure, manure. Okay, we got 7.4. I think that's tons of manure. It's kind of a lot. Here we go. Uh, oh, we got to connect. Oh, we got to connect. The that's actually kind of cool that you have to connect the PTO. There we go. I mean, that's how it should be in real life. It's going. That is how it is in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is how it is in real life, I guess. So it's that should how that that should be how it is in farming similar too. Is what I meant. So we got one bale in there, but do we need more? Okay, we need more yet. We'll keep going. There we go, just blowing straw in here. Okay, in Farming Simulator FS19, they got a, uh, it's a skid loader attachment on the front of the skid loader and it just chops up your bale and then spits it in there. That's pretty cool. I saw some guy on Facebook and it was in like a couple days ago, he was like, guys, we need one of these. And it was literally that, where it spins and chops a bale up and throws it in there. He was like, we need one of these in FS17 and boom, well, look what happens. It comes in FS19 and they just announce it. Okay, so this- we got one for that. <laughs> For 17. Oh, oh, we okay, yeah. I guess maybe the guy didn't know about that one. I didn't even know we had that one then. Okay, we'll pull the 40. Hmm, I gotcha. We'll pull the 4020 around, and uh, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna leave it connected to the. Uh, we'll just this will kind of be just the, I guess, bail, bail shredder, the coon. Uh, 420 and the coon will go good together, so I think I'll just keep them on there. I just gotta right, figure. Get a bale straw. Okay, um, here I'll grab the skid, skid loader and uh, help you out. Where do I put? Okay, maybe we'll just detach this, guys. I don't know, or it wouldn't be bad to just keep it on there. I want to keep it in a building, though. That's the thing. Uh, can we fit through there? Okay, we can fit it. I think what I'm going to do is just keep this out, or keep this inside, and detach the 420 actually, guys. There we go, we'll back her in here. Put her in the corner, right there. Perfect, okay. Detach her. She's detached. And we got a bale in her yet, too, but it's only, technically, the bale's only like, we only got one tenth or so left. I think it was like 12%. Dude, we need to clean some or er, clear some snow across here. I need to put on the bucket of the uh Yeah, I need to put on the bucket of the skid loader. We need to start clearing some snow. Kinda just ran over a bucket. Oh shoot. <laughs> there we go. Forty twenties in here. Now I'm gonna grab the skid loader for you more and or er, more, do you wanna pull over here by these straw bales and I can uh I can grab some for you? Yep. Perfect. Okay. Skid loader's right here. We'll start pulling out some straw bales. The thing is, is it's tough to reach with the skid loader all the way up there. I can do it. It's just a little, it's just a little weird, a little unrealistic maybe. We need the JCB telescopic uh, skid loader is what we need. <coughs> they have one that has one boom and it'll, it'll be uh, telescopic so you can reach out there. Okay. Pull in here. I'm exciting that farming somewhere got the uh, got the new Holland skid loader though. That'll be kind of cool. It's it's always fun having different in-game equipment, you know. Even though you can get different mods, it's cool having different in-game equipment. Okay. Pull around here. I gotta start grabbing these bales lower. I kind of grabbed this one pretty high. I think it'll still fit in there fine. It's just I need to start grabbing them a little lower next time. Uh, okay, maybe this one's gonna be a little tough. Come on! <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Get out of there! There we go. Okay, I need to grab them lower. How full? How full are we? How many bales are you thinking? How many more? A lot. Eight? Hey, not grass hay. Oh, we need grass hay yet? Oh, you, you say we're good yeah, on bales? We 
We're good on straw. We just need uh, hay around bales now. Okay. And hay's over kind of by the cows. I'll go, grab, I'll go follow you over there. You know what building hay's in, right, more? Is it ever by where the PJ and the other trailer yep. was parked? Yeah, it's back here. Follow me through here. Uh, maybe it'll be. It might be tough to get through here. You got to go through that that main gate over here. Oh gosh, I don't want to don't want to pick up one of these cows with a spear. Okay, yep, it's through this gate right here. So you have to kind of back in here. Maybe you can. You might be able to swing around. There we go. We have a ton of bales in here. Okay, more. I'm ready for you whenever you are. Oh, there you go. You're opening the gate, coming through here. Okay, the 8300, it's got to be tough steering with there. It's two wheel drive. You got all the weight in the back with this big mixer. Man, that's gonna be tough. Okay. Oh, this works nice when I kind of grab it from the bottom. Works a lot better. There we go. Pull over here, grab this bale, get kind of low, 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 low. Who sings that song? There's a song that's like, oh, maybe it's Flow Rider. I think it's Flow Rider. I remember when I was really young. Rider. Yeah. Better. Oh, shoot. Oh. There we go. <laughs> okay, more. Oh, shoot. Oh, I hate when this. Oh, we're good. Okay. What are we at now? Put one more in there. Okay, I'll grab the top bale up here. Or we can play Jenga and start pulling out some of these bottom bales and see if the top ones fall. <laughs> you ever do that when you're loading bales in real life more? Pull out the bottom, see if you can. Oh, gosh. I almost, I almost took out one from the top. Yep. Top bail falls right where you want it to go. Go in there, buddy. Oh, there you go. Good job. Okay, are we good more? Yeah, I'll just put a little bit more solid in here and we should be good. Okay, top her off. We'll keep going. There we go, more. And we need, I guess we need grass, but we don't have any grass and we need to, we need grass and power food. Man, we got to get some grass here because that's the one thing that will make him happy. I should probably start loading out some manure, but I think that we'll do that next bit, guys. Just start loading, 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 and loading some manure out of here. Because we got this big pile here. Then where's our slurry pit? So we have this big manure pile here, and our slurry is... Ever by where the straw is. Oh, it was? Oh. I could shut this here. Uh... Shot? You got a shot? There we go. So our slurry is by the straw, you said? Yep, it's in that field that's right the. At the oh, the yeah, that's right. 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 That's right. Is it a pit? Yeah, it's a pit over here, I think. That's right. So our slurry is way back here. I gotta find this now that you said that. I think it's back here. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, okay, there's like a fence there. Yep, okay, here's our slurry. Oh, that's sweet. Our slurry's kind of a cool little bit here. We get going. So, it's only 2% full. For some reason, slurry just takes forever to fill up. But yeah, our slurry's only 2% full, so our pit's over here. So eventually, soon we'll have to be hauling out uh, some manure, guys. I plan on buying some more cows also. But we don't really have the money right now. Anyways, guys, this will be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, smash that like button. Don't forget to check out uh, more Farmer's channel. He just hit 600 subs on his way to 1K. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys later. Thanks.